growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And you know how we do it. <coughs> shit. Here we go again. We get lit, bitch. We get lit. Oh, shit. But today, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> like we always do. We bring you the hottest artists in the city. We bring you the up and coming artists in the city. We bring you the legendary artists in the city. We bring you the icons in the city. You know what I'm talking about? And today in the hot seat, you know what I'm saying? We got one of them up and coming artists, man. And I want y'all to roll up your motherfucking sweets. You know what I'm saying? Get high with me. You know what I'm saying? As we bring in my boy, Man Man Rex. You know what I'm saying? What's going down, Man Man? Not much, man. I already, man. Tell everybody, man, who you got with you, man. I got my boy Taylor Band Kai. He just started rapping. Taylor Band. Yeah, I'm sorry. Already, man. So, man, for the people out there that don't know who you are, man, please let them know who you are and where you're from. Man, man, Rex, I'm coming out of West Dallas. But if you ask me what I grew up, I just say Dallas. Uh, shit, I've been rapping for a little minute. Uh, but this shit starting to jump out, man. It's starting to go somewhere for real, for real. And shit, that shit good, that shit a blessing. So, I already, yeah. I already. You, sure. man, tell everybody, man, man, where you from, man, and what's your, and what's your name? Man, I'm telling you, I'm kind of, everybody know me as Kai shit. Right now, we located in BFL, shit. I mean, I just dropped my first set, single, April 29th, Cracking Foes. The hoe already dropped, the hoe on all platforms. Look it up right now, Cracking Foes. C-R-A-C-C-I-N, Foes. Shit, me and my nigga Rondo 1K, all the way in the merch, in the three, all the way in East Texas out there. You know, we got the whole merch cracker foes out there right oh, now. Really? We got that shit turned up. Go look that shit up, play that shit, nigga. So, let's dive up in there. Okay, man. So, where it all started for y'all, man? Like, so let's start with you. What inspired you to start making music? Who was the inspiration? Basically, uh, when I was up in high school type shit, like shit, we used to freestyle and shit like that. And, uh, Nah, that was high school, that was eighth grade. Eighth grade, shit, I used to freestyle and shit like that on the disc. Right. And, uh, shit, everybody started telling me, shit, you just, you just take it serious, you just take it serious. And, like, shit, I was partially taking it serious at first. Then, I, I just started, I was just like, shit, I don't do that shit. But then, like, the year I was graduating, shit, I turned back up on it. And, after I graduated, shit, I turned up on that shit for real. Oh, yeah. really? What about you? What inspired you? Shit, my mama. My oh, okay. mama make music. What, your mama make music? Oh, okay, that's what's my up. My mama make music. Okay. And, like, she rap and sing and shit like that. And then her boyfriend, he rap. And when they was going to the studio at nights and shit like that, I should be like, shit. I wanna go to the studio. I wanna go to the studio. <laughs> My partner Frank, shout out Frank Baguette. Oh God, nigga, that nigga he be rapping and shit. He signed to he signed to SMG. What same label he trying to get on? Okay. Uh, that nigga when he started taking off, he was like, I'm telling. Cause we used to always rap in high school, eighth grade together too. Shit, we used to rap and shit, nigga. And well, he used to take a little more serious than I did, type right, shit. Right, right. So he was like, I'm telling you, can't take this shit serious, nigga. You gonna take off on God. And then shit, I got in the merch. I tapped in with my nigga Rondo 1K. My nigga, Zay, nigga, sack chasing them back in cartel and them. Oh, really? Yeah. They took me all the way from Commerce to Arlington. I recorded my first single on oh, God. With me and my nigga Rondo 1K, we went dumb on that hoe. Shit. And I dropped the hoe. I started getting some plays on that hoe. Oh, I was like, oh, shit, nigga, this shit. I can fuck with it. <laughs> I know, I know that feeling though. Yeah, yeah. Up, it was right, it's been turned up ever since. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So man, so all right. So at this time, man, who was y'all growing up listening to? Like, who was in Dallas? Or shit. you know, what I'm saying, I'm gonna come back to you in a second. Yeah, shit, me, shit, uh, shit, I fuck with Tupac. Like, shit, like my mama had grew up listening to him. Shit. Right, right, right. And so, shit, uh. No, I just took after that shit, listen to our bro songs and shit like this, you know. How the fuck with Big Smiles type yeah, shit? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga was like an out to me. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Tupac made him a op. Tupac yeah, made yeah, Biggie yeah, a op. Yeah. I mean, that's how it was. He was the other way for me. Yeah. I was the Big Smiles and then, yeah. you know, I used to hate Pac and yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I listened to some of Pac, but I was never a Pac. Man, man. that's crazy yeah. how y'all two together yeah. like that. I'm the opposite, man. That's like, <laughs> hey, that's, yeah. that's bro. I fuck with Pac, no, cause like, See, you know, like, shit, he curved, you know, like, like, you know, like, he yeah. was one time being a gangster, gangster ass nigga, like, you know, like, he was just a nigga not to fuck with. You right, know, and man. then also he, gave, he gave us a light, though. 
he gave us hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a lot yeah. of rappers don't give, yeah. especially yeah. today. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you give us hope. Yeah, hope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who who you listen to in Dallas? Uh, up in Dallas, yeah. Who you growing to listen to I in Dallas? Like three. Three. Uh, you say you're going to do three. Uh, ain't nothing wrong yeah. with three. We all love three. three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know I why the city three, feel like man. the city don't love three. I don't know why they got that mis bad misconception like that. Uh, uh, that. But the whole city love three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, And whatever happened to them, you know, we know it was more inner than, you know what I'm saying, than the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But shout out to three, man. Yeah. One, you know what I'm saying? For shout real. Shout out No Flaw Peace. Yeah, No Flaw Peace, man. Shout Two out time. to my nigga, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that nigga be putting it down, man. Got a song. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta hear that, but you gotta send me an exclusive of that. Man. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Who? You, okay. First of all, who did you grow up listening to in Dallas and outside of Dallas? And please tell me who your mom and daddy was that was in the studio back then, because I might know them. You know? <laughs> okay. So I grew up listening to really a lot. Who I listened to a lot is to Kevin Gates. Okay. I listened to Boosie. Okay. I listened to Zero. Mm -hmm. Shit, who I listen to? I listen to Biggie. Ooh, ooh. But like really, before I was even listening to Biggie, I got hip on Biggie off the movie. Like uh -oh. when I was younger, my mama yeah. used to always play the movie. Uh -oh. And I never, that's why I never really listened to Pac and Biggie. The Biggie movie put me on that shit and it made me look like Pac uh -oh. and the bad guy. And uh -huh. then I started listening to Biggie and I was fucking with Biggie. Yeah. I was on the Biggie side. <laughs> and I was with Pac, but so, like. Basically, okay, intermission. So basically, what you just told me is that. That television programming, what yeah. we were talking about before we yeah. got on the camera, yeah. that shit actually that actually works. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see how just watching something on the TV, how that trains the mind? Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's how it for me. Look. I seen a pop uh, documentary type shit. Yeah. yeah. And he thought like like forget yeah, me. Like damn, yeah. I like damn. They set that nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm in my and I'm in my head. Like, damn, they blaming this nigga for this shit. <laughs> my nigga was just trying to record his song. That nigga did not. I mean, they sent my that nigga down there. Oh God, I'm seeing it from this eye. He's seeing it from this eye. So I can I can see both of y'all perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you just started so as soon as we get in the car on the way home, we gonna be arguing about this shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, yeah, no, 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 no. Though. What about Biggie deal? What you think about that? Man, I mean, I feel like my nigga was dumb. Like, why he go back? Why he go back to camp? What, 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 what you was doing out there? What, 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 what you was doing out there? Like you said, Biggie you know, got and something and to do with and that, and though. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? And you know. They already think you said bro up. Yeah. What are you doing out there? Yeah, you know. I that mean, was some high heads. Well, well, I mean, they like he said. They think Diddy got that, something to do with that. They think Diddy did this. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You see, everybody is out on the podcast blaming, pointing them fingers at Diddy. But yeah, yeah. like I say, they ain't came and got Diddy yet. So shit. That's yeah. that YouTube <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. That's so that's a <laughs> right. That's a conspiracy yeah, shit. Yeah. So they ain't got Diddy yet. So if Diddy did it, Diddy clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. Like, who was your mom and dad name in the okay, studio, so, man? Now, my mama, her name is Kanisha, but her rap name was, her rap name is, because she still be rapping and shit. Her right. name is Lexi Benz. And my stepdad name is, his name is Anthony, but his name is, like, I think his name is like Big Tex or uh, something like Big that. Big Tex? Yeah. Light skin? Nah, he dark skin. Dark skin, Big Tex. I think I know Big Tex. I, I think I know you, Big Tex. God damn it's like, me. It's like, yeah, it's Big Tex. Oh, God. I don't, he used to have, they used to be in like a little rap group. But I forgot, man. It's, but if I, 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 I would call it. Man, oh, it don't matter, like, shit, like, nigga. We, nigga, we lit, nigga. Really shit, call why it. you call him? Man, him finna chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So tell me, like, like for as as a youth coming up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in this music industry, we were just talking about how, like, you know. The, the the distance between the young generation and the old generation yeah. and the beef and all that stuff like that. Do you think that like us as the older generation really give y'all something to look up to or feed off of? You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like right now, like we were talking about, it's like we don't make y'all hot. We don't make y'all nothing unless y'all gotta kill somebody or y'all gotta y'all gotta prove like y'all the hardest street person out here and do dumb shit to be recognized or glorified. You know what I'm saying? How that make you feel as a rapper that's coming in the game today? Shit, of my opinion, of Dallas, I feel like like the people that ain't on like like they current type shit like. I don't, I don't meet a whole bunch of old heads and shit like that. They be giving me advice and shit like that, like telling me to keep my head on and shit like that. 
Uh, I was, shit, even when I went to jail, shit, I was up in a loose there. Shit, them niggas in there giving me advice like a motherfucker because I was the youngest nigga in there. Right. So, I, I feel like everybody that ain't on or got money like that and shit like that, y'all show love type shit. But I feel like the niggas that is on up and daddies, they show, they, they, they too big head type shit. Right. Yeah. So they don't show a nigga no love and shit like that. And they yeah. feel like they too good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the same thing with these gatekeepers and shit like that. The right. gatekeepers, I feel yeah. like these niggas ain't gatekeepers. And then they don't want to fuck with you till you're already on. But right. then by then, I'm feeling like fuck you. Because you right. didn't want to fuck with me when I wasn't on. Right, right. And as right. soon as you do get on, they start dick riding and yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. But so, so, like, and that's like that's my question too. So, do you feel like. Like us, as the media, as the OGs or whatever, do we put y'all in a corner? Do we put y'all in a situation to where y'all have to do certain things, you know what I'm saying, to even be seen or be known in this music? Yeah, like everybody look at us as just some young, young niggas, cocky young niggas. Right. Like really, we just trying to get on. Right. Like, shit. Right. Like really, we, like right now, a nigga really just happy to be here just right. to get some, to get some. Recognition, you know what I'm saying, yeah. right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Nah, that's real talk. That's all, like, I ain't gonna speak for all young niggas. I'm just gonna speak for me. Like, what what, what I be wanting. Sometimes I, that's all they be wanting for recognition. Be like, yeah, this young nigga out here, out here getting it. Cause right. all those heads ain't gonna do that for you until you already on. And you are, like, you really don't need it no more. Right. Yeah. Nah, I feel that. I feel that, man. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, that's not that's real. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, like, okay, so. What do what, what, what do y'all really what, jumping into this music industry? What do y'all expect from the music industry? Man, that's hard to ask question. Let me see. Money. That's how I like it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> money. Yeah. I don't care about, about you hoes. I don't care about you. I don't want the money and the fame though. I just I want to be. I want to be known. But I want that paper too. Want the paper too. But I want to be. I want niggas to know. The I mean, like you know how, like right now, Atlanta hot right now. Everybody, right. everybody in Atlanta, they know Atlanta making money. Right. And shit like that, like Dallas, we making money, but like we not what we not on what Atlanta doing. Right. I'm saying I'm trying to get us back up, like so we can be a known city, like Atlanta, like instead of everybody be like, oh, let's go to Atlanta, let's go to Canada, let's go, to, mm -hmm. let's go, let's go to uh, Miami. Mm -hmm. They only be, hey, let's go to Dallas. I heard they get paper. Or oh, you know that's where Manny and Rack from. That's where Tyler Van come from. I'm trying to get us back known, get more known names back in there. Right. Like right. you know, it's a lot of known rappers from Atlanta, like the Baby. Right. You know? mm -hmm. uh, like I'm trying to be, name, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to be the the Baby of Dallas or right, right. or the NBA. So the NBA let me. Boys. So okay, so. Let's just say you the NBA young boy, you yeah. the baby of Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. And let's say y'all get this money, y'all y'all in this position or whatever the case may be. What is your vision or what is your goals when you get to, let's just say Vincent, you get that certain amount of money that you want. You already get the goals, the cars, the jewelry, everything. Yeah. What's next after that? Invest. Yeah, really and what y'all got? And what and what y'all think about investing in? What like y'all already been thinking about like businesses, companies, business. real estate, mm -hmm. all that. Shit. Right. right, right, stocks and all. Right, right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's in the stocks, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming to tell you. Yeah, I really be already on the plane and shit. Right. Like, well, you know, cause you got them. They got them little apps and shit. Mm -hmm. On your phone, you can do the play and that shit. So, hey, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, even got this little app that I got. Where like, what every time I spin, say if whatever change off the dollar, say if I spend five thirty six. That other little 60 cents to go into some stocks. Okay, right. Right, so right. So I already be playing around on that shit. Look yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. So what about have y'all been thinking about owning land? Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Banks, black yeah, owned yeah. banks and stuff like that but already. Yeah, I, been, I want land. I want land because I want a lot of animals. Yeah, yeah, you all you like animals? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> I want a lot of land. I like shit, I like exotic animals. Yeah. yeah. I like that's what I'm saying. Wait, like, what's a exotic animal to you? Like one of them, one of the fucking frogs that grow in the dark yeah, or something? Nah, I'm not. I nah, mean, I fuck with y'all know like that, but I want some like. I want like, I want some llamas and shit. Oh, llamas. I want them motherfuckers. Nigga, yeah, I got some Nah, I want that's some wild shit. That's fucked up because I can see this nigga with a llama, nigga. <laughs> I'm talking about Kevin Gates. I'm talking about Kevin Gates. I want some llamas, niggas, little kids, yeah. and shit, nigga. Running around and shit. What, you got some panthers, tigers? Fuck no. I like shit. I like that. I like reptiles. 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 Oh, okay. Yo, yeah, like gu iguana, snakes, and all that. Uh, boa constrictors and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah God. Nah, I mean, like horses and pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah horses and, and, and pigs. And llamas and shit. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Agriculture, you know what I'm saying? Get that money, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Alright, so right now, let's talk about your music. 
Yeah. Okay, so the music, like how long, how long it takes for y'all to get it in the studio and really come up with a, a idea for a song or a project? Oh, my shit be already done. Well, really? Oh, no, like, I nigga, that, I that today, <laughs> today, he, he could vouch, swear to God, today, this nigga went into the house, he, I was sitting in the car, that nigga went in the house to go change, take a shower, so we get ready to go record a video for my other partner, Blast, shout out Lord Blast. Um, this, I was sitting in the car, and I and really don't know what I was listening to, but I said, I'm gonna make a song to this hoe. By the time this nigga came out, took a shower, shit, said, nigga, you was in there, nigga, so long, I finished the whole song. I wrote a whole song in the car yeah, today yeah. while this nigga was taking a shower and changed the car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, All right, so what about, what is like how y'all go through selecting y'all beats? Uh, shit, I got, shout out, Ken Stone. Mm -hmm. I be fucking with him, he be making my bitch and shit like this. Okay. Or shit, I lease a beat on YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah. how I do it. I okay. do it off the YouTube. Okay. Cause nigga really just started type shit. Right, right, right. Like we, we really take it serious type right. shit. Nigga really yeah. been rapping, been, you know, the young nigga rapping and shit like that, freestyling and shit. Freestyling while we hot boxing and shit. Right. But just now taking it serious, y'all been fucking with the YouTube beats. Man, you should take it serious. I, and I encourage y'all to take it serious, man, because I, 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 like, I admire. I know you taking it serious, but you know, like I say, I admire how you just hit me up. Like, hey, I need to get on the platform. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We make that happen. That's yeah, what it's all about. Especially when you in this music, you get out and you reach people and you start network. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's going to be your network. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because a real. lot of niggas think. Rapping is just, oh, you just gonna make a song yeah. and then that shit. Nah, bro, you gotta like, bro, you gotta get out there, bro. You gotta get out there, bro. And then this shit, this shit ain't even 100% rap, bro. At all. Bro, bro. God, it's really like 10% rap. It's all rap. Awesome. Shit, nigga, really 40% hustle and 60% marketing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, marketing in there marketing. too. That's the form of hustling. Yeah. You gotta get yeah. up, you got a product, you gotta get, hey, my nigga, you need this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. shit, I got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's just okay. what it is, it's hustling. Really, how I started getting <laughs> a lot of views on my shit is, nigga, when I smoke with people, uh -huh. I play my shit. Right. And they be like, who that? That's your heart, man. Nigga, that's me, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, that's me. And they be like, nigga, that's you. So you do like I do, because yeah. I take that same approach. I be like, nigga, what you doing? Let me see your phone. Yeah. And I'm like, go on my YouTube or yeah. whatever, subscribe, da 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 da. Same thing, my partner come over here. Like, nigga, what you doing? Where you going? Nigga, yeah. go, go watch my YouTube yeah. channel. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Like, my shit, my shit, my shit, I don't really know how to explain it, but like, shit, like, I never really promoted my shit, but like, everybody. Gravitate to it. Yeah, yeah comment to it. That's how shit. Just That's like, I was posting on my story, like, yeah. that how long. Right. They at least like 3,000, 4,000 views. Mm -hmm. They gonna do it. For the Cracker, the cracker Foes little uh, snippet that I dropped in two days, my shit got 5,000 K views. There you go, right 5, there. 5,000 views on my shit in two days. So right now you got singles, right? Yeah. All right, so like, name me the single right now that, that you really passionate about and the one that you really trying to push. Griselda. I got this song called Griselda. Uh, Everybody love that album. Right. Everybody love that album. And at first, to be told, I didn't fuck with that bitch. But then, niggas heard it and shit like that. Shout out Radio Raheem. Uh, I recorded it at Never Satisfied Studios, if I know what that's it. Okay. Uh, everybody heard that bitch like, that nigga had celebrities listening to my shit. And I wasn't even nerd type shit, bro. Right. Shit, niggas heard it. And he, he was like, man, like, bro, they fucking with you, bro, they fucking with you. One of, one of the a and shout out Cutler, he came over there like, man, like, every night he used to tell me, like, what was going on and shit like that. Right. He told me, like, bro, they fucking with you, bro, like, yeah. he said, uh, who that was, shit, I think it was Cat Daddy, actually. Yeah. Shout out Cat Daddy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cat Daddy always in the mix, man, Yeah, for real. Hell yeah, that's the <coughs> one. Uh, he the one that told radio like he need to push me and shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he fucked with a nigga music type shit. Well, we gonna push it, cause I know once you sent me your stuff, I was like, yep, yep, there we go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, like, nah, for real, for real, nah, it ain't no cap, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I wanna just say, preach, I appreciate you for reaching out, like, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, a lot of people, a lot of artists feel like, Shit, just gonna people just gonna find them. Just gonna live with taste to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And sometimes it just don't work that way. Right. Yeah, man. So man, like, okay, man, where do you really see yourself in the in the next five years? Uh, shit, I'm gonna be on tour. Yeah, yeah. You already know that. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm gonna be on tour. 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 Yeah, yeah.
What's up, man? Cause yeah, it, it take it, that's what it takes. Like, it was, my partners helped me really. My partner, my partner, friend, Brigitte, shout out my nigga. He really pushing yeah. that nigga on out here in Dallas and shit. Right. And then I got my partner in Merce. Uh, shout out my nigga Rondo. Shout out my nigga Zay. Shout out my nigga Vic. All them niggas, them sack chases and shit. <laughs> uh, shout out to niggas because they really be pushing nigga out there. Nigga, I don't go. I don't know how many niggas from the east that I don't even know that just been following a nigga. Follow the oh, fan base just nah, growing yeah. and shit. Nah, that's what's I'll, up. Shout out East Texas, man. You know, right, East Texas always. We trying to get it. It's lit out there. <laughs> yeah, it I want to tell y'all where I recorded my first song, but I ain't gonna lie, out that Dota and that that drink, man. I don't don't even, I don't, don't like, I, it was in Arlington though. It was in Arlington, oh God. I, if I'm not mistaken, it was with Boy, the nigga six seven and uh six seven and eight oh eight or eighty eight, some shit like that. I can't remember though. But well, nigga, 88. I think it was 88. I think I know who you're talking about. 88 and 67. You know them? That nigga Instagram like 88 World or something like that. I think so, fam. I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm out there, though. I'm out there. Shout out 88, bro. Already, man. Two times, man. Yeah, Already, man. Like, he was like, he even told me, nigga. He was like, nigga, this your first song? He like, nigga, this your first song? I'm like, yeah, nigga, this my first song. He said, nigga. You coming in real hard for your first song. My partner Ron K, my partner Rondo Ron K said, nigga, you coming in way harder than what I came in with my first song, nigga. So yeah, yeah. nigga, we, we trying to, yeah, man. we trying to have a whole East cracking foes, Dallas cracking foes, all type of shit. So what's up with this management deal you got going on? Shit, shout out to Swift Legends. Uh, basically, shit. Uh, my homeboy Frank Begit. Uh, shout out Frank Begit. Two times. Yeah. He fucking with them and shit like that, and I was all that type of shit. Like I, I was fucking with a regular and shit like that. Finna get rid of sign. They were gonna sign me for some cash and shit like that. Like sign to play. Right. But uh, that shit went left cause like he wasn't let me. Like I couldn't drop my music type shit. Then long story short, like we weren't saying out of our own business type shit. So after that shit. I ended up leaving the bro. Shit, I had like 60 songs. He had all them hoes hostages. Like, bro, you gotta pay for these, you gotta pay for these hoes. Mm. Do, 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 do type shit. But then. With no contract? No, no contract. It was, it, it was never no contract. But, <coughs> right. No, I mean, shit, it's, it's yeah. still love type shit. Right. I want to share it because, you know, I know I'm hard type shit. So, really? boom. After that, uh, that's when I seen my homeboy Frank, like, this nigga dropping video, he fucking with this label. Dropping video, nigga on say cheese, shit like that. I'm like, damn, yeah, nigga, like, my nigga doing his thing. Like, I'm yeah. like, something trying to be on that same type yeah. of level type shit. So I told him, I like, hey, Sam brought my shit. But he was like, bro, he already heard your shit. He said, he fucking with you, do, do, do. But I'm, yeah. I'm like, nah, you know, I'm trying to make shit happen now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make shit happen now. Yeah. So eventually, you know, time passed over, shit like that. Shit. We working some shit out, so yeah. Shout out to Swift Legends. Yeah. Sure. I really, I buy. I mean, I buy every artist too, man. Especially in these situations, like always business, especially yeah. in this business, always learning. And if you can't learn it, and you're around people who trying to put you in a position, to hurry up and trying to move you, and you know what I'm saying, before you even know what's going on, that's when you pump the brakes. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you actually yeah. don't know what's going on. You, I ain't no shit you know what I'm saying? Time, right. Yeah, 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 I'm on game like a Yeah, motherfucker. stay on top of that yeah. business. You know what I'm saying? Like, the business is the very most important thing in here. Like, when you can watch all videos, you can see TLC. Yeah. You see They get down there 40 years old, come back, they they, they, they raped me, da da da, I didn't understand, I didn't, yeah. you know, so, so I tell people to take that serious, when you get these yeah. contracts, you sit in front of them, if you don't understand something, go get your own lawyer, don't get they lawyer, they don't read that. you know what I'm saying, don't let them read it, don't let the lo they lawyer read it, because that's a uh, conflict of interest, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah, watching the movies really, yeah, get you hooked, <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real, 
real. You watch them hoes, they get you. Get you right, you know what I mean? You watch them hoes, you see how they, nigga, they be like, oh, they got all these cars, and they got a house, shit like that. Mm-hmm. And now, nigga, yeah, 10 years like that, or this, this, that, my money, yeah. shit like that, they own, they own this. And all this stuff, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Up in, uh, straight out of company. Yeah. And if you gonna yeah. take an advance of anything, you better get the biggest advance you can get. And, 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 and go on about your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's make like sure in you know you get the sh- movie. They do that shit. Like yeah, in right. every, in all of them hoes. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know they what I'm saying? They always regret what the fuck yeah. they signed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they always get fucked over. Yeah. So if you do decide to sign or whatever, you just make sure it's the it's the shortest contract. You get the biggest vans that you can get. You know what I'm saying? And you get it on the project that you know that hey, you know hey, I I don't mind even in this, but I got something else. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to uh, Frank Ocean. You know what I'm saying? Frank Ocean. You need to rip a hole in the game, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Russ. Yeah, yeah. Russ too. Yeah, Russ too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah Russ, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that nigga so, right there, a fool. Yeah, you're a fool, you know what I'm saying? So I advise all all the youngsters to get up with people who's going to educate you and then put you in that position, you know what I'm saying? Not just put you in that position and you just learning afterwards and you and I already got raped, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's get to this. How do y'all find music? How do y'all know when somebody's hot? Man... I mean, shit. I just be I mean, like, if I fuck with it, I fuck with it. Like, it just depends. On, I, it really don't depend. It really just if I fuck with it. I already have a certain genre that I fuck with. Right. If, I, if I'm fucking with the vibe of how it's how it's going, what you saying? Type but how y'all find y'all music, and how do y'all know if that person hot or what, what, what not? You know what I'm saying? Or do y'all even follow that's the trends? Man, y'all want to say it really don't matter if they, like for me it don't matter if they hot. I mean it just depends on if I'm fucking with the music or not. But like niggas, you you see that shit on Instagram on that little ads that pop up on your shit. You might hit that shit. I might be like, oh shit. So you find you everybody some, through Instagram? Yeah, yeah. You everybody watch somebody's story, not everybody, but yeah, you watch like somebody's story and shit. You see the song, she be like, damn, like this song hard to bitch. And right. Go look the hell up. Same. Look like, See, Daddy's. I don't really, I don't really like fuck that nigga. The only nigga <laughs> I listen to up in Daddy's, I listen to Big X the Blood. Shout out to my big brother. Yeah, yeah Big X. I yeah. watched that nigga blow up right in front of my eyes. Bro. Right. She yeah. crazy, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, big X. She I crazy. Bro. Bro. I watched him go to what? He uh went uh went over there to uh, would you look at this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, 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 and yeah. then after that, bro, my mama, bro, bro. <laughs> that nigga was just in the yeah, studio. Yeah, he was just like, in the studio. I know. I like, seen it too. We was, bro, I swear to God on my mama. I that nigga hard as fuck. Yeah, that nigga hard in the bitch. That nigga hard. Like, nigga, like, <laughs> well, really, when I was like, this nigga hard in the bitch, nigga, I'm in this house listening to Mr. Trouble. I'm like, this nigga yeah, hard in the boy. bitch. And I'm really yeah. mad because that hoe only a minute and 40 something seconds long. I'm like, that's damn. That's why I need more, eggs. Oh, God, nigga, that shit, <laughs> hey, you gotta stop doing me like that, egg. Bitch. I be turning up and shit, minute and 30 seconds, and that but, shit gone. Man, so, man, man, okay, all right, so. So you find your music through basically I, no no niggas and shit like that. Like I listen, like I find them niggas like through either DJ Academics, cause he'll post them niggas and shit. So yeah. Or basically through social media, basically. Yeah. So basically, really, you saying the bloggers or the, the actually the, and the, the yeah. ones who do the podcasts are yeah. the ones who breaking the artists now. Yeah. Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Already, and then it, and it is a lot of party promoters that's putting a lot of us young rappers on like right. like like my partner shout out Jace Hood okay shout uh, out Jace Hood after in commerce on God that nigga be putting a lot of young rappers on like he'll be letting them perform at the little shows and shit like that that shit lit nah no, that's what's up so have y- y'all performed uh, shit I ain't performed I used to like I used to get on stage and shit like that but. I slow it down. Like I you just like performing? my first single, so shit. I be nervous like I was like I be <laughs> nervous when I get on there, but then shit, uh, as soon as I get out, everybody walk up to me and shit like that. Like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Boy, I can't believe I forgot this nigga name, bro. Uh, I gotta find him, bro, shit. But it's this famous nigga that all y'all know, like like the old heads type shit. Yeah. I forgot his name, shit. He used to be like with uh, Birdman and you know? him. And he from Dallas. I forgot his name though. Birdman used to be from Dallas. Nah, about? he used to be with Birdman. Chief, Chief, Big Chief. Nah, Don not Chief, Chief. Not Chief. Uh, not Chief, but I think he been with Chief. Find that who used to be with Birdman bro, from Dallas? Bro. I forgot, fam. I gotta find that shit, bro. Nah, find that, cause I wanna know that right there. I'm finna look for it right there. Yeah, yeah, shit. They say he used to be with Birdman I'm from Dallas. Look for it right now. You know what I'm saying? Did he ever put an album out? I forgot about name, bro, but he 
he came up in there, he rapped that song, and everybody in there be new. Everybody like. I ain't talking about damn D, is he for NFL? I damn D was gonna rap a lot. Yeah, damn D was rap a lot. Yeah, you damn right. Yeah, I know. You can talk, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I forgot this nigga name. He, he the reason why I kept going, too. Like, I kept going. Okay. Damn, that's fucking me up, nigga from Dallas, from the from Bird man. Let me see that. But you know how Dallas rolled though, you know. Nah, he would like years ago, like years ago, like when y'all okay. young type shit. Shit, cause I, all I remember was BG, UNLV. Damn, my God, bro. You know what I'm saying? Turk, shit ain't ringing in Juvenile. Damn. Mac 10 was I on. I know what he looked like in everything. I hate niggas he looked that like in everything. What the song was? You remember the song? I don't even know. I ain't know that how I was. Ah, that nigga said I ain't know that. I was like, who the fuck is this, bro? Golly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what Fat Pimp. Fat Pimp. Fat Pimp. That's oh, it. Oh, Fat Pimp. Fat man, shout out Fat Pimp, Pimp, man. Yeah. Man, Shad Pimp, Fat Pimp, wait, Fat Pimp was with Cash Money? No, I thought he Pimp. was dirty. No, nah, he wasn't with Cash Money, but he was <laughs> with them. Oh, like, oh, okay, okay. He, he, okay. he did it with them. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, bet, bet, bet. Bet, yeah. Man, shout out Fat Pimp, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I had him on here, you know what I'm saying? Give him his flowers, man. You need to deserve your flowers once again, Fat Pimp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, he do look, look out. Yeah, yeah, basically, shit, I was on stage, I was rapping and shit like that. I rapped like two songs. Right. And that one, I first started rapping type right. shit. I was fresh out of high school. And uh, as soon as I had got off stage, shit. We had chopped it up and he was, and he was like, bro, five years from now, bro, you gonna be something, bro. You right. gonna be something like you gonna shine up on the city, bro. Like, nah, you is gonna be something. Shit, bro. I was like, nah, you is gonna be something, man. Yeah, yeah, we it. follow the nigga on the ground, man. He showed love. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? That's like that's what real OGs do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We encourage y'all, you know what I'm saying, instead of making it feel like y'all gotta go out there and kill somebody, you know what I'm saying, to be yeah. happy with y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, big old dope dealers to be accepted. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like and I like I wanna apologize though, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know <laughs> As, as as young men, we gonna do what we wanna do. We was all yes. young men, you know what I'm saying? We did the same thing, y'all did probably even worse, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, like as as we get older too, you know what I'm saying, we, we still have responsibilities, whether it's directly or indirectly. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and like, you know, and I just wanna say apologize to y'all because I know it's fucked up out here. And I know a lot of us are granddaddies, grand uncles, and they ain't leave no land, no businesses up yeah. for us, you know, to even think ahead, you know what I'm saying, like most places are, like when you say Atlanta and stuff like that, you know, a lot of that stuff is bred in, how the family ties are, you know what I'm saying, and how the streets are structured, like yeah, today, we can't even run outside and whoop another nigga kid for fucking up, you know what I'm saying, without the parents next door getting mad and want to kill you and da 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 da, yeah. niggas, like I was saying, niggas can't, niggas get butt hurt over these females and they want to kill the females, you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> like, like right now it's a war, it's a war on, on not just the black women, it's a war on, on, on us black men and us as black people as general. You know what I'm saying? It's a war, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, you see how the gas, the bills is going up. You yeah. see how you know your grandteen, your mama been surviving over here and now they got a downsize or they got to do this. So you, you see it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but I just encourage y'all to really like when y'all in this music, whatever y'all do, have an end goal, have a goal, you know what I'm saying, and strive for that goal, you know what I'm saying, to better your community, because it's about a community, even though you not may not know him or you may not know him, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but still he's part of your community, you know what I'm saying, because this color right here, yeah. you see what I'm saying, this is what connects us. It's not, see, a lot of people think about the blood that's inside you, but really in, in, in actuality, nigga, it's this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? This is what connects us. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I can look at you, I can tell you that's my brother. Oh, yeah, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, but if I go over there and look at Tom, I know he's not my brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, it's just being real. You know what I'm saying? And I just encourage y'all, really, you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing, y'all on the right track. You know what I'm saying? And if, like I say, it's nothing to turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. Nah, square business. It ain't nothing like my nigga Sip the Shocker say. 
charge it to the game. Yeah. If y'all don't know who Still the Shock is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, okay, like he say, Master P, little brother say, charge it to the game. Yeah. It ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? It ain't shit to walk away, you know what I'm saying? To be the bigger nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like you say, man, you get to see another day and you get to get your goals accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being set back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then now once you get set back, you already know, like, nigga, I ain't got no choice now. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't got no choice but sell dope, ride, nigga, fuck you, nigga, let's <laughs> yeah. fight, nigga, shit. I'm going to penitentiary anyway, fuck. Yeah. You don't want to be in that position, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen a lot of my niggas in that position, and you don't want to be in that position, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, to all the day, people's favorite rapper, favorite rapper is either what? Dead? Okay. Locked up? Yeah. Everything they had, all them jewels, all them cars, houses, they gone. Yeah. But, and ain't leave nothing back. The kids, the kids still struggling and everything. You feel what I'm saying? And so like, right, right. So that's why I'm saying when you jump in this music industry, make sure or whatever you do, you putting back for your kids and for you already automatically in case anything happen. I don't give a fuck if you step out and get hit by a bus. You already know everything's taken care of. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to nuts. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, huh? Okay, so my mama just texted me and told me my stepdad rap name. It's what? Soldier Ticks. Soldier Ticks? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's Soldier Ticks. Okay, alright. Not Big Ticks. Okay. That's Soldier Ticks. Okay. And, and that's, he, he one of the reasons you're like, I was hearing his raps and shit like that. Alright, shout out Soldier Ticks. You know what I'm saying? And T Jones. You know what I'm talking about? Like Square Business. So, alright, so let's get to this right here. Who you always wanted to work with in the industry? And in Dallas that you never got a chance to work with. Dallas. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna start out with Dallas. Over okay. Dallas, I'ma say shit, I wanted to do a song with three like shit, I know all his niggas, so it was like right. shit, I wanted to do a song with him. Right. Like, shit. And uh I know that bitch would've went on. Singing, rapping that nigga just like him type shit. So I know that bitch would've went on. Yeah. Out of the city. I already heard your flow, so I already know I already know where that comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already but that's what's up. What about you? Shit. In the city? If I if I gotta do one in the city, I'm gotta I'm doing trap. Okay. okay. I'm, I gotta do one trap. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta do one trap. If I gotta do one with somebody outside the city. I ain't gonna lie, a nigga that I've been fucking with a lot right now is Lil Double O. Lil Double O? And I fuck with that nigga Flo. Okay, where so, he from? Where Lil Double O from? Is, is he from Memphis? I think he is from I Memphis. From okay. Memphis. The Memphis been having a lot of people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see how Memphis yeah, and I'm Memphis, trying to have Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Let me Google this shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to just put that nigga. Alright, but I'm about to say, Memphis have been having a lot of people come out. He said like Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that nigga from. Yeah, Memphis and, and Atlanta, you know, and Houston making a big comeback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Houston making a Houston, big comeback, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, y'all got y'all 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 know any y'all legends in Dallas? What the fuck? What? Where they from? That's just say New Jersey. New Jersey? Oh, well shit, hell. I know right here, me, me, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, That's Memphis, uh, Memphis, 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 ten. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Right, <laughs> really? no, My dad ain't in New Jersey, right? But like, this. so uh, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all know any of y'all legends from Dallas? Shit, shit. I'm mean, in Fat Pimp. Fat Pimp. Uh, okay, Fat Pimp is a legend. Hell, yeah. three a legend. I don't give a fuck what a nigga. Yeah, three. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, three. Gotta, I mean, you gotta put three in there. You know what I'm saying? Because no, he did, mama. he did a lot in a so, in so, uh, a short amount of time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, do you know your DLC? Turk, nigga, I just learned uh, do you know your DLC? Yeah. Doc? You know what I'm saying? You need to get to know. You need to go. All right, check this out. You need to go learn DLC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old Cliff Assassin. Nemesis. Y'all know who Nemesis is? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. shit. Well, okay, but then if you don't know who Nemesis is, y'all sleeping because if, if without Nemesis, you wouldn't even have 808s. You wouldn't even have a boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, that's Nemesis. Yeah, straight out of Dallas, oh, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. Dr. Dr. Dre, Dr. 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 Dre know. Nah, I'm shit. willing to learn. Like, <laughs> shit, if they watching, shit, I'm yeah. willing, I'm willing already, to learn. Nah, shit, shit, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I encourage you. Like, y'all know Gator Man. I feel like I done heard that shit. Man, y'all better tap in with Gator. You think you think you heard rap yet? 
Shit, you better tap in the Gator Man. You know what I'm saying? You need yeah. to tap in Lil Joe. You know what I'm saying? Monster Joe. It's Monster Joe now. You know what I'm saying? But back then it was Lil Joe. You know what I'm saying? Monster Joe. You know what I'm saying? You got your boy uh, Picasso. Uh, uh, Picasso hard. Uh, I just had who? Who I just have hard? Uh, my boy, man. God damn, he gonna get mad. Bowleg. Bowleg. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Bushy, Mr. Oak Cliff. Yeah, no. Diamond D. That's yeah. half a million. Diamond D, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Simo, Pookie, Lucci. I know Pookie and Lucci. Okay, what yeah, about K Rock? Yeah. What about K Rock? I know, K -Rock. I know that is, yeah. Okay, K Rock is the one, yeah, that's the yeah. one him and Pookie start out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? K Rock was the, you know, he was the one who really jumped it off. You know, straight up ripping, pop yeah. my clip and best of all to the nigga that's tripping. Oh, for yeah. God, I think oh, I that's him? Yeah. Nah, that's Lucci, but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but that's Pookie, man, my bad, but, uh, but like, yeah, y'all got it really. Y'all got a lot of history, man. Erica Badu. Yeah, I know. Badu. Yeah, okay. Hey, 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 All right. Hey, hey, Vanilla Ice. I know. Hey, 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 hey. Vanilla, I told y'all earlier. Oh, God, my cousin went to uh, high school with her daughter. Right. I got Usher. Yeah. I know, I know, I know FaceTime, bro. I told you, I told you. Yeah, I, told you, I, yeah, I put y'all on Usher. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, no, no. Froze only. You know what I'm saying? You got Damn D. You know what I'm saying, man? So y'all, man, hey, say, man, I can keep going. But we ain't finna keep going because it's a lot of y'all. Shout out to all of y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all gonna get mad. Like, man, you should've said my name. But trust me, man, you know, man, Byron Lil Lil, all y'all, y'all already know. Nigga, DTR, you know what I'm saying? Quint Black, you know what I'm Ooh, shake them haters off. Yeah. Now, man, say, Lil Will, you know what I'm saying? My Dougie. My Dougie. Oh, yeah, Nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, tra yeah. nigga trap stars, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, little Ronnie motherfucker, throw that ass yeah. in the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Hey, that's who I want. Oh God, I want yeah. to fuck with that nigga too. Yeah. I want to make it so I'm thinking the running. Oh yeah, the running. Oh, I want to be. I used to listen to that yeah. nigga when yeah. he was skinny with yeah. that big ass yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Die right. Y'all know y'all know BSR, Tuck, Tum Tum, and all that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not a stain on me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, goddamn nigga, I'm a tussle. All that. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, like nigga, nigga. Rest in peace to my boy Mo Inky. Now it's a lot of us that have passed away. Oak Cliff Assassin, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of us, man, fallen soldiers, man. You uh I uh man, it's a lot of y'all out there, man. Cold Chris, man, but it, man, let's go here, man. Alright, so now we who can we expect from y'all, man? Like now, you know what I'm saying, y'all uh, like an album, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all getting into this. You, you, yeah. you knew, you, you already got your wings wet. You know what I'm saying? So what, awesome. what can the world expect from y'all, man? Really, like, you know what I'm saying? The projects, albums, visuals. Well, I'm gonna let him go for it. Mm -hmm. Right now, started. right now, me and my partner Rondo and Katie Ron, we talking about I got song right now. We got some shit in the works. Okay. I ain't gonna say too much on it. I don't wanna give y'all too much, but we got some shit in the works. Got some shit with my nigga. We got some shit in the works. Frank, Frank Baguette, shout out my nigga. I already shout my nigga out. Yeah, we got some shit in the works. Yeah, yeah, I got some, yeah, I got some shit in the works with a lot of niggas. Like, right. I got some shit, yeah, and I got some shit just me too. I got right. some shit that's from the drop that's just me. I just, you know, I ain't trying to drop that shit. I'm trying to let Cracker Foes get all the way to his high point. Right. And then drop some hot shit right after that. Right. That's what I'm trying to do. Right. So I'm trying to let this yep. shit simmer up. You know, I'm trying to let that buzz build up. Because that buzz building up right now. Like, yeah, like, for me to be a fresh new artist and I just drop my shit, I don't got no label, never fuck with none of the little gatekeepers, never did no performance. Right. And for my shit to even do 5K on Instagram, that shit was, I was like, damn, okay, cool, I need to do that. That's what really made me drop that shit. I was gonna drop the uh, shit yesterday was my birthday. I was, I was gonna drop the song on my birthday. birthday man. But I ended up dropping that bitch earlier because everybody was like, oh yeah, we need that hoe. Right. All my partners were coming. So you got the man. Yeah. All right. So make sure you do all your paperwork before you even put a song out from here on out. Yeah. Make sure you get your copyright and everything before you even put a song out from now on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make sure that shit register with ASCAP. Yeah. Um, make sure that bitch rest your fuck shit. Yeah, we're gonna lock in. Make sure you do that shit before you even put the next song out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about you? Shit. What was the question again? What can the fans and everybody around here that's look, tuning in, what can they be expecting from you? You know what I'm saying? Albums, you know, visuals, you know what I'm saying? What about the acting? You know what I'm saying? You getting some movies or something? <laughs> Nah, do a little hood movie. Yeah, nah. <laughs> hey, that'll be live though. I ain't gonna lie. One of y'all niggas gonna hit me up, put me in one of them. I already. I do it now. This was shit. My birthday was Tuesday. I mean, yeah, so, I have a little belated yeah. birthday, man. <laughs> so shit, uh, we yeah, be doing the video for that. Me and Frank, but yeah, we finna uh, 
Shoot the video up to this song that we ain't drop you. We gonna drop the video you know, in the audio at the same time. That's All the plan. Right. Uh, after this deal, bro, like, if this shit go right, this shit gonna turn up for sure. So, I'm gonna have a lot of shit going on. I'm gonna blow up. That's what, it, that's what you waiting for. Already, all right. So, all right. So, who's been supporting y'all, man? Who's really been? Man, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, okay, so nigga, I'm rapping this shit, but I'm I'm in college. I go to college hey, out there in Texas and Commerce. Oh, okay. And so, with that being me being there, I, it's a lot of niggas in one in, in composed spots. So like I'm, I be able to spread the word about my shit. Like, sm like when I get smoking the hot box and I play my song, nigga, they be like, okay, oh, I'ma fuck with this. So when they get in the hot box, they playing it to other people. So nigga, a lot of niggas fucking with that shit. Shout out my nigga Jay Hood, he posted it on his story. Shit, hey, he Paul, he thought I forgot he supposed to play my shit in the party, but he didn't. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but yeah. Nigga, yeah, they just be fucking with my shit out there. And then shit, my nigga Frank Baguette, yeah. uh, all them niggas with Swift Legends, and them, they been posting my shit, reposting my shit. My nigga Man Man repost my shit. You know, we all out here just trying to push it. I'm reposting my nigga Man Man shit. We trying to push it. Man, y'all niggas go get y'all some stickers and little posters and shit. Yeah. Go down to that college oh, and yeah. get a little team and pass yeah. that shit out. Yeah. Stick them everywhere. You know what That's I'm why my nigga, my nigga Jace let on God. I'm telling you, my nigga putting young niggas on right, right now. He let niggas perform and shit. Yeah, do them college shows. My nigga, yeah. my nigga Rondo 1K just did oh, a yeah. show at the Battle right. of Juice Springfield. Oh, yeah. I had to have two times. Okay, y'all on the right track, man. Y'all on the right track, man. What about you? See, we are. I ain't over kind of shit. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> shit, me really like, like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, I be getting love. Like, yeah. I just be getting that shit. Like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. Like, I post it. Everybody just fuck with it. Everybody repost it. Right. And shit like this. Some, sometimes when I post it, I send it to people, you know. Right. Like, I let shit, like, I feel like the females really, like, play a part in that shit. Okay. Like, okay. they they all, like, I don't know how to put it. Like, females really be, like, supporting more than, than you niggas. Yeah, yeah. Niggas hoes. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, niggas, like, Niggas envy type shit like right. a lot, but I'm a I'm a give my credentials to the women type right. shit. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So, right. but yeah. like the areas, North Daddies over here, everybody be fucking with me. Right. So, that's what's up. Right. Everybody in the East fucking with me right now. Right. Every, a lot of niggas in the D fucking with me too. But shout out to my niggas in the East though. Right. Well, man, let me say, man, y'all already know, man, we got to have y'all back up here, man. But before we get up out of here, though, you know what I'm saying, I always ask this question, you know what I'm saying, so y'all got to pay attention, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, mm -hmm. what question would you ask yourself that I didn't get to ask? Yeah, okay. You go for it. Hell no, nigga. I'm gonna let him go first. 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 I'm gonna who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I used to rap. Question I had myself. What still? Or what? Or what? Mistake? Or what could I have done better to get in a better position than what I'm in right now? For sure. And what would your answer be? <laughs> I don't know your past. But they gonna, they gonna put it on me. Okay. But okay, I give you an answer. Okay, let's put it like this. What I would do is, you know what I'm saying, first of all, I would stop worrying about other niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing I would do. You know what I'm saying? And then, instead of worrying about another nigga hating on me, I would just keep showing that nigga love regardless. And I would keep it business every time. I wouldn't make it to be anything personal. You know what I'm saying? Because the first time you make something personal, that's the first time I'm a mistake and you go wrong with taking things personal. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, always keep it business. You know what I'm saying? Second thing I would do, you know what I'm saying, is make sure that I learn what I need to know about everything I need to know about 
in the music when I'm trying to do it. And I shouldn't be sitting there trying to just do music. You see what I'm saying? Because exactly. I already know if this man paying bills, if he getting checks, if he's doing that, it has to be a business behind it. You see what I'm saying? It's not just a dream. You know what I'm saying? I will, st I will take myself from, re from re um, I will put myself in reality and take myself from that dream. You see what I'm saying? Really? You know what I'm saying? You know, because one thing Fat Pat used to tell you, I love my nigga, shout out R.I.P. Fat Pat. You know what I'm saying? He always say, I gotta change my dream. I gotta uh, make my dreams into reality. You see what I'm saying? So, that's a, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. My dreams, all that dreaming stuff, you gotta cut it off, man, and come to reality, man. Turn that shit into a reality and know what that reality is. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be mine. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, third, bro. Uh huh. That's how I feel about my music. Like, right. Okay. Like, I ain't gonna care. I ain't wanna put no money into this shit, bro. I was just like, shit, fuck out there. I'm gonna do this shit for the free. So, <laughs> shit, I thought I was gonna get on like that. Yeah. Then one day I woke up, I was like, fuck. Right. What a way I can expand. Cause shit, like, everybody in my school just knew about me. Nobody else. Like, right. just my school. Yeah. I was like, fuck. What are ways that I can expand this shit, bro? Damn, I just came to realize, like, right, you gotta put money into this right. shit. Right. So. So. It's all it's all about the money and it's, it's all about the business yeah. and it's all about having an entertainment lawyer The entertainment lawyer gonna get you indoors that you cannot get in. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And then another thing too, it's like it's always gonna be about money But you got to know how to make money. So if you know that you got a name, you know people buzz and they like your shit Okay, all right, you can go stream my shit on YouTube and all that that shit fine and daddy, but here buy this hat you yeah. see what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay, buy this T-shirt. Yeah. Okay, buy this this customized uh, USB CD that you can put in your car. It's gonna have my it's gonna have my logo. It's gonna have my uh, album cover on there, and it's gonna have videos. All you gotta do is plug it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You know what I'm talking about? So make ways to make money. Cause back in the day, what we did was we went to Fry's or whatever, Walmart, whatever we could go. You know what I'm saying? Got CDs, pressed them up, burned them until we got enough money. And then when we got that money, we took that money and went and got real CDs to put in Sam Goody and stuff like that with barcodes and everything like that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a process. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be willing to go through the process. You know what I'm saying? And you, it's gonna, you're going to be frustrated. <laughs> you're going to get mad. You're going to feel down. You're going to feel like there's nobody there to help you. You're going to feel like there ain't going to be nobody there to understand you. But you got to keep your head above that water and know that it's the end goal for what you're trying to accomplish. And don't forget your end goal because everybody forgets the end goal. See, everybody wants to make the money. Everybody wants the fame. Yeah. But that's not the goal. And that's definitely not the end goal. That's just a process within the goal yeah. to get to where you're trying to go. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So right now, you know what I'm saying? I want to say this to you, you know what I'm saying? Because I got, I got, you know what I'm saying, kids y'all age. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But I'm not old. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, an old, even if the person is old, it's a good thing. Wisdom. Because if I would have known what I know then, I mean now then, just think about what I could have accomplished. Yeah. Now, it was niggas coming to me, telling me certain things, but they won't come to me like I come to you. You see what I'm saying? And when you have somebody come to you like that, I advise to take that in heed and, and, and cap capitalize on it. You know what I'm saying? Because in the, in the long run, like I just had bow leg on her, he said the same thing. And in that long run, it pays off. It gets you exactly to what you want and need. I mean, my bad, sorry. Not want, but need. It's not about what you want, it's about what you need. Yeah, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, before we get out of here, y'all, you know what I'm saying? The floor is y'all. Please tell people where they can reach you, where they can find you, say whatever you want to say, any misconceptions. So you can, the floor is y'all. Y'all can dance around, do flips. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Go for it, go for it. Go ahead. Shit, hey, I mean, you can look me up on Instagram, Tyler Ben Ka, T A 1 I B A N K A K A I. Shit, nigga, you can look my sh my song up. It's on, it's on everything, any platform. You can look that shit up on Apple Music, Spotify, shit, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube. On God, just look up Tyler Ben Ka, Cracker Foes, Future Rondo 1K, Cracker Foes, shit, with two C's. Crack the phone, nigga. Oh my god. I have to have everybody crack the phone. <laughs> Shit. Everything, men, men, race. It's all together. Uh, See, so you can Google me, it's gonna pop up, men, men, race. It's gonna tell you everything you need to see. Uh, Instagram, men, men, race. Snapchat, men, men, race. Yeah. Twitter, men, men, race. Yeah. 
YouTube, man, man, right? That's how you oh, yeah, man, YouTube, man, right? That's how you brand. That's what you call branding, right there. That's how you man, brand. Man, 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 man. Everything, man, man, right? That's how you brand, right there. Ain't yeah. no space in this shit. It's all together. <laughs> shit, any shout outs? Shit, hey, yeah. I mean, we been shouting out all Shout time. out Frank Bagheer. Yeah, no shout way. out to my nigga 420. Yeah. 420 JD, 420 Quay. Yeah. Shout out to Swift Legends. Shout out to you for having us. Man, man. already. Big man. shout out to you. Man. Shout out my nigga Rondo 1K. Shout out my nigga Jace Hood. Shout out all them sack chasers. I can't name mine because there's too many of them niggas. But shout out all them gang niggas. Shout out back in Zay. Shout out back in Cartel. A lot of them niggas. Yeah. Shit. Man, shout shit. out. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, shout out Triple D. Shout out Oak yeah, Cliff, nigga. Shout out Ace and shit. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Get back with the gang. Shut them all out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody, nigga. Triple D. Shout out everybody. You know what I'm saying? What you all talking about? You ain't fucking with us. Fuck you. Everybody get to that bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You know what I'm talking about? Like, each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I advise, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Come together. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hey man, it, it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? It's already hard for us just for the skin tone. So you know we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like like if we start raising, you know what I'm saying? Our brothers. You know what I'm saying? Our, our, even the older people. You know what I'm saying? Those, it doesn't matter. We gotta start raising each other as a community. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you know what I'm talking about. Man, y'all get off the motherfucking boo boo. You know what I'm saying? And get up off that motherfucking monkey shit. And we about this bitch. <laughs> Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.